Good morning. Something I thought about um, while I was cleaning this disgusting stall was how neat it is when you see, you know, like a mess and then in a few forks, it's clean again, right? In just a few, you know, shovelfuls, it's clean again. But it got me thinking about when people would call me in the past, and I'm not doing boarding now, but when people called me in the past about looking to possibly board their horses at my place, they'd call, you know, kind of with their list of questions. And one of the questions people would ask me is how often do you strip the stalls? My answer to that is never. Okay? Now, I don't know if that's a question that's asked because that's just, you know, what, um, what somebody said you should ask, if it's a question because you came from a farm where they just did that, or, um, or if, uh, you know, you just, you read somewhere that, you know, stalls should be stripped a certain amount of times or whatever. So I'm going to tell you why I say never. I move my shavings around. So like right now, I'm cleaning a urine spot, a heavily soiled area. Now, I scrape it down, as you can hear, all the way to where then I take the back of the fork and I blade it back and I literally, you know, create a clean surface. Now, I don't just grab a new bag of shavings and come in here and throw it on top of their most soiled areas. If my horse requires, if this stall requires new shavings, the new shavings will go where the horse soils the least. Okay? So, um, in this horse's case, he uh, soils mostly in the middle and at the door that he actually likes to use as his entrance and exit door. So what I would do is I would, after I'm done cleaning the stall, I would move all the shavings that are currently in the stall to off of the depth of shavings that I would like in those areas first. If I don't have enough shavings to cover the entire stall in the depth of shavings that I would like, I would then add shavings to the spots that are still empty, which are the spots that they don't soil, the spots that they don't overuse for uh, their bathroom, okay? So now what I'm doing is I'm utilizing a older shavings in an area that will probably be taken out next time. Um, I don't come in here and look at my perfectly good shavings that are like six fifty a bag and go, oh, nope, because I have this in my mind, I should rip all these out every Monday, I'm going to do that. I'm going to just rip them out every Monday, regardless of, you know, what's not wrong with them. I move them around so that, you know, the horses aren't being asked to stand in shavings that are becoming moldy. I also don't bank my shavings. I don't put my shavings up against the wall um, and then create kind of a an embankment. I think people do that because they don't want the horses to cast in the stalls. Um, I think that's kind of like the mindset behind that. Well, I don't have a problem with that being the mindset behind that, although I don't have a casting problem. I would imagine if you have a casting problem, then you'd have to figure out some way to help the horses roll back off the walls. I don't know that that actually would help the horse roll back off the wall or, off, or create more of a feet up in the air thing. I'm not sure. I, I don't, I don't, I mean, there's a logic behind it, I'm sure. I don't personally bank my shavings. Um, 
and the, one of the reasons has nothing to do with horses casting and stalls. The reason is often if you bank your shavings, those shavings, unless you do strip your stalls on a regular basis, those shavings stay in the corner against the wall and develop almost like a, a mold to them. And then if you were to then dig down that wall to the floor and pull those off, you would smell like a moldy bedding. So I don't do shavings against the wall because uh, I, I like to make sure that my shavings stay as fresh as possible. And I don't come into my stall and ever leave any of my shavings unhandled. So it never has a chance to, you know, collect spiders or collect mold or uh, moisture I didn't know about. Um, there are times where, like, say, under their water buckets, if it's not saturated, um, it's not actually soiled, it's wet. So I might use that in an area where they're going to urinate next, um, instead of even throwing out shavings that are wet from their, you know, water gruel. Um, so that's my thing about whether or not I strip my stalls and why. Uh, I take all used hay. I have a stall walker in my barn. Um, so I take all un uneaten hay that's still remaining in the barn in each stall. I don't mix it with my shavings. I think that makes just for a very ugly stall. Um, I take all of that and I put it in my stall walker stall. And what I found about that is it's less pungent than straw. I think straw becomes very pungent with urine. Um, I don't like how straw smells. And uh, it, it almost like becomes a net. So when they, they manure, it almost nets. It almost like encases it in its own little net. And then if you have a stall walker and he moves around, often he just pushes that whole net with an intact pile against the wall, right? Uh, shavings now, when you have a stall walker, often they turn it into what I call a Dairy Queen blizzard. Um, and then you're stripping that stall daily. That's a different story. Like if you have to, if, if it's soiled, you have to take that out. Um, but if you have perfectly good shavings that, you know, had a pile resting on top of it and you get the pile and any discolored shavings underneath of it out, I see absolutely no reason to throw those away. Um, I will then, like I said, take those shavings and put them in the most soiled areas. And then if I were to add any new shavings, I add them to the areas that they don't soil much at all. I do know people who like kind of the symmetry of um, shavings, you know, like when they add new shavings, they want it to be you know, evenly displaced. Um, I, by next morning, you know, either I have almost what looks like a new bag still, or um, they have blended it in themselves. It's really not, that's not important to me. For somebody who actually makes sure all labels are facing the same way and all bags are, you know, upright or whatever, for somebody who's like that, having half the stall brand new clean shavings and half the stall yesterday's shavings doesn't bother me doesn't bother me at all and uh it's how i spend my money i guess you know i've had people uh work for me and the first thing i say when i show them how i do my stalls and explain why i do it the way i do it i always say you know it's important to me that you don't spend my money so um do it the way i asked you to and i'll be happy kind of thing you know like I know it would look better if, you know, the new shavings were sitting on top all pretty like a, you know, a dressing on a, on a, a nice meal. But um, there's a practical reason why I do it the way I do it.